which are already converted. So if you are planning to do it yourself, uh, you can get my scripts. I can, uh, they are not generic enough that you can use them uh, out of the box, but uh, you can move to GitHub as well. That's it. Questions? No que time for questions, I think, but. One minute. One minute, ah. Any question? Now come and talk to me outdoors that I'm uh, available. Okay. Good. hard to uh, stay on your spot. Yeah, I moved the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> but I realized you hadn't, I was like, oh, sorry. Uh, right, I need both of my car cards. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's easy enough. Pocket, and then I do that, and that, and untwist them, or twist them, whatever. Thank you very much. the receiver had a, had a longer battery life as this does. Uh, this is fine, what output have you got? Hmm? Oh, you got VGA. VGA. There we go. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, okay. 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 Excellent. So can you do the thing, do the thing. Or oh, might work, do the thing. Microphones. Microphone. Okay. We have two. Okay. Pause them and ours. We have a backup one just in case. Okay. So. Hold that in your pocket. So. I don't. I don't have to speak too loud, right? Um, um, loud enough to project to the room, and I'll change levels as needed. Okay. Uh, so just this one as well. So when I say there's two microphones, there are wow. two microphones. Cool. Pop that one in another pocket. Yeah. Or clip it on, or whatever. We're done. Excellent. <laughs> when Claudio says you're ready. You're ready. Okay. When Claudio. Well, this isn't recording. Were you ready? I think so. Tom, were you ready? Okay, um, thank you very much for coming. Uh, we will talk about Simpa, Simpa we, uh, from a Burmongol perspective. Um, I'm Marc Chantreux, I came with my friend and colleague David Verdun. We work at Renater, which is a national uh, research and education network uh, in France. Renater is hiring, so if you are a French public servant, don't hesitate to contact Guillaume Roux, and uh, there, is, there are a lot of people from University of Strasbourg there. Uh, Sympa, what is Sympa? Uh, which is, uh, which is a um, very old, 20-year-old uh, uh, mailing list manager, uh, released in open source uh, from the very beginning in GPL. Uh, there is a lot of feature in Sapa because it's done for, uh, for research and education network and we have a huge uh, amount of, of, of requests, uh, feature requests. So there is too many of them. G uh, David gave a talk at Yapti about it, so don't hesitate to YouTube. Um, we made a survey in some, uh, the, a year later and we, have a lot, we had a lot of astonishing uh, numbers which are available on uh, sampa.org. Uh, the thing to, to memorize is every uh, two seconds in the world, uh, somewhere, someone in, uh, uh, some Sampa in the world is processing a new incoming message. 
we have a commercial support from uh, from uh, contributors uh, of the project. We have uh, we jo we just joined uh, the Open Web Consortium. We expect more partners. We expect more contributors. Uh, and Renater uh, Renater is really uh, want to uh, involve the community into the development process. By the way, uh, in fact, uh, Renater became a member of the community, not the the, the, the real leader. So we have a GitHub, we have a, a, a free node. Uh, you can join us from uh, for, uh, from the mailing list, uh, developers one or user ones. Um, but we have a small community of developers. This is a problem for Sampa because we have a lot of expectation. Uh, I I talk about this in my in the lightning talk just uh, to come. Uh, we have a lot of expectation for Sampa, and we have so few contributors. Uh, two, uh, uh, around two at, uh, at Renater, two regular contributors on a lot of, you know, one patch uh, man. And it seems a problem, the barrier for contribution is, oh. even, yeah, even, even, my, even my screen don't want to, to, to show that. Sorry. Yeah, let's be honest. It's Perl. It seems no one likes it. I, I don't. I don't understand why. I, I have. A, I have some clues. So the new code base should be uh, newcomer friendly uh, and maybe simple to man, simpler to maintain. Uh, we want to rewrite Sampa with a new coding style based on CPAN. Okay. Uh, we have. Uh, on CPAN, a lot of modules. We want to just reduce, reduce the standard modules and tooling, tensor two, move DBX class. Actually, we want to ease the the, the life of developers by, uh, as uh, as Damien Conway said, uh, uh, Damien Conway, sorry, said, removing the infrastructure code. Okay, what is removing infra infrastructure code? It's the boring part will be hide uh, in some modules with declarative syntax. Moo is a perfect example. Uh, we, we, we use it, sorry, we use it from 10, year, 10 years, yeah, I, I think, to a year, 10 years. Uh, so, basic example, we have this counter, okay, I use the class counter with uh, a constructor, uh, with a value method, with a next method, and with an add method. Uh, value shows the value of the, the counter, next increment and return, uh, um, and add, in, um, add uh, a value and return, okay? No big deal. And pair developers used to be happy with that, which, no. Uh, no one wants to write this kind of code anymore. We use Moo since 10 years, and we wrote that. And uh, I don't want to, 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 to describe Moo anymore. I, I mean, too many yapsies with Moo. So, uh, but basically, uh, we have just, we define a, a property which is value, which is read and writable, so the getter and setter will uh, be uh, created and with the default value zero, okay? Uh, then you have a next function, uh, a ne next method. Next with the, uh, the method is uh, a function that takes self as a first argument and value in the second argument. And then, uh, this is a part of more I don't like because it's OO programming and I, yeah, self value is self value plus one. So you have to write this, uh, use the, the getter, uh, may, make a, 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 um, a computation and use the getter. But, and we will show later about, uh, see later about the function add, the method add. Uh, plus we have cha type checking, okay? Type checking, you can use the either constraint and basically what I say here is if it's a reference, it's a, it does contain something else. Oh, it's missing a plus, sorry. 
uh, it does not if uh, if it's not a number I die okay there come another uh, um, structural uh, module which is type standard which is a basic basically type standard is an extension of a wrapper over around type tiny type tiny is uh, a module to declare uh, a de the declarative way to uh, define a type checker so type standard provide some kind of new uh, keywords like int for example int to check if it's uh, int uh, string to str to to check if it's a, a string and so on and you can combine checkers with checkers so you can write maybe string which is maybe undefined string actually array array for string so you define a list of string uh, instance of list uh, which is a reference to a, a list so you can combine the as you can combine the checker you can combine the checker with another another checker we can nest something so you write those kind of things I want an array of maybe uh, instance of list which is a collection of list okay but you define this way uh, this module the this uh, this syntax on, on is only uh, declarative no more code so you can use it uh, for your declaration uh, for your property declaration back to this function I I said just before that I'm not happy with that Be because back in my old pearl this fri fragile one I just can use plus plus operator I mean why using a setter then a getter I just want to plus plus it's easier to write and I, I, I spare some some method calls then I think uh, I think uh, I think yeah counter uh, value is just the 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 the, 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 the sub counter value okay which self as a per first parameter and two as a second parameter what if this value this uh, sub is a L value if you don't know L value it's not a problem L value is very simple L value is a function that wraps uh, uh, a variable so for example I have my variable val and I've wrapped this one into counter so I can use a function to to deal with the variable as a variable as it is a variable so counter uh, can be set if 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 it is set I set to three and I increment it okay it's a value a value captured in the variable so if I have if I can do that I can have this the first one I love it because it's but it's fragile it's not it's breaking it's breaking the mu abstraction the second is a mu uh, so vari uh, variant which is which I don't I don't want to use uh, and this third one is the one I expect okay just plus plus uh, all property so let's code it and finally I said no now let's go shopping let's let's try Shipan and I found it we have Moex and Moex uh, L value attribute so you can just use muit moex l value attribute and uh, to the in, in the definition of your property just add l value is one <coughs> so now the method next is written this way which is okay for a Perl developer a Perl monger and it scares a newbie still why why because that's this crap okay we are used to it it's okay for us but for, for example for a Python developer it's unacceptable they don't want to write this to, to read this kind of stuff so yet another module but yeah okay I know I know what you you, you think it's so powerful I can do everything yes it's powerful 10% of your time 
The rest of your time, it's just boring. Okay? So, so that's why we have signatures. So, uh, 5.20 have signatures. And we are in the Sampa project. We are stuck in five old ones. Why? Because some people run some very old servers. And we decide that no one be left behind. So, what to do? Signature, well, tw uh, 20, but from uh, 12, we have pluggable keyboard, which is you can create a new keyword to extend the syntax of Perl. <sighs> and I don't want to use that because, <laughs> honestly, it's way beyond my, my skills. But some people, clever ones, use that to create, for example, function parameter, which is also CPAN. I just upload from CPAN. With function parameters, we have this new keyword, fun, which is a, a keyword that uh, gives a, a Perl the ability to have a signature, a decent one. So you are used to the old one, and the Python people, for example, are pr will prefer the, the, the fun keyword, OK? Not a big deal. Change uh, the, send the three letters. And you, gi you, you have signature since Perl 5.12. Uh, what if I want a, parameter, a default parameter, OK? We are used to, uh, yeah, testing if the, uh, the array contains the number of the value we want. Uh, the function, uh, the, the Python uh, people are used to that. And Perl 5, 20 are used to that. Perl uh, 6 are used to that. So we will use that too, OK? There are many uh, other uh, features uh, in this module. For example, you can. For, for the people who, who tried Perl 6, we have this uh, name, uh, name parameter, which is really cool, with a uh, uh, semicolon uh, notation. Uh, and you have this too, but I, I have no time. Uh, and, but here you can add uh, maybe a check, a type check, OK? Uh, this is a clutch uh, in my first version, because I just want to uh, I don't care, uh, I don't uh, uh, spend time on things that it's, Im it's important that I, I don't uh, uh, spend some time for, uh, for this kind of thing in my project. So, so, as always, you delegate, you delegate to type standard. Type standard can, do, can be used in the, <coughs> signature, in, in the signatures of type of um, function parameters. So no. You can crash uh, if someone, uh, something else, for example, a, re a reference is passed as uh, a first element. OK, another one. Clearly, this is a method, OK? Obviously, uh, fun next, self as the first argument, this is a method, OK? So they introduce the keyword method. So you can just write. This is something I want to write. This is something that is readable for a newbie, OK? I, always. And so, so yeah, this kind of stuff. So we can uh, remember I, I, I drop the ad, and I say, OK, later. I just don't want to describe this thing. Because obviously, the final version of ad is that, which is so useless now, because Obviously, plus equal x would be more natural. I, I will not define in, in the, this function in my class. So, OK, but it's way shorter than the previous uh, version, OK, the Perl version. Also, I get conventions. Conventions is I will use fun for private uh, functions, and I will use method for public methods, OK? Finally, finally, this, uh, this is the final definition of the class. 
OK? So you have package counter, which is use moose, which is moose x uh, L value, uh, type standard. This is the, 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 the property uh, definition. And this are, those are my two, my two methods. OK? Any question? No? OK. So uh, in the real life, I need more stuff. And I really want to, uh, to, to prevent the new people in the project to discover all this stuff by themselves. Because frankly, they don't. They don't spend time on it. OK, they, when, when they want to, 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 spur, uh, to, to, to use their, ta their, their time, they will go uh, shopping on Amazon, not on CPAD. OK, so they don't know those kinds of modules. So I brought them for you. Uh, I brought them for, for, uh, for, for us, for them. Uh, there are a lot of one. I don't have time to describe uh, all those one. But yeah, uh, we don't want this kind of boiler, boilerplate directly in the project, OK? So we wrap it into a module, which is sympathetic and sympathetic OO. Uh, so you use sympathetic OO, you use type, uh, type standard, which is not included in, my, in the package because uh, you, you need to import the, the things you want, so it was no, uh, there is no value to, 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 uh, to import directly from Sympathic. So what? Finally, we use less code. You declarative things make less bug, uh, yeah, less and less bug. You can focus on your problem. Uh, you can solve your problem. More documentation and more tests because all those packages are maintained by by, uh, by very good uh, Perl mongers who take care uh, about uh, their projects and more consistency because basically if you have one obvious way to do to write it, you use it. Uh, it's a chair knowledge, so you can have some people from other projects that can help you uh, chair maintenance because if you find a bug, you fix the bug, you fix a bug for all the project using this kind of modules, so this is important. And we will have a well-documented coding style directly into the, 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 um, the pod of Sympathic. So for the newcomer of the project, they have one pod to, to read with a lot of, uh, of uh, links with the other uh, modules. <laughs> so. Just use sympathetic if you want uh, some procedural stuff. If you declare uh, a, a sympathetic uh, uh, an object, uh, you, you can use a move wrapper. This is a, uh, this is a, a work in progress. Uh, any feedback and ideas are really, really welcome because, uh, you know, I can. I'm I'm never sure about myself, so don't hesitate to. To, to, to do some comments. Uh, I will push uh, Sympathic on CPAN uh, soon. Uh, the code is running, but we ju I just pu uh, need some uh, extra documentation. But I, uh, oh yeah, the GitHub is on the, uh, on, on the project, on the pro project GitHub. Sorry, okay. Uh, yeah, this is a page of the project. Uh, yes, this one. Uh, okay, so don't hesitate to uh, don't hesitate to join the project. Contact us. Uh, ask questions. Feedback and everything. Any question?
Yes? Uh, can't you force people to do the new, newer version of Perl? Uh, um, if I was uh, uh, alone in charge, <laughs> we will use uh, 20, uh, Perl 20 because there, is, there are very good stuff uh, in 20 that are obviously a very good reason to upgrade. Even if you are a, a system operator, just upgrade. The thing is, um, so I tried. I tried to convince uh, system admi administrators. And the, the, the common thing is, yeah, but we are on Red, Red Hat. And the problem with Red Hat is, yes, they have, those, uh, they have the um, uh, software collection, and you can upgrade. But if you do that, you lose your Red Hat support. So they are, stu they are stuck to the old one, and they don't want to move. Uh, so, uh, and the problem is, if we are a community, and we want no one left behind. So we, we made a vote, uh, a poll, and um, most of the people w uh, were OK for uh, per 16, uh, but two of them uh, two of them, I think, voted for uh, for, fi uh, for 14. So we stayed in 14. Any other question? Yeah. Um, have you thought about uh, using stuff like Docker to upload the software? Uh, ba ba basically, um, uh, in the pro Sampa project, I, I started with uh, the Docker. The thing is, Docker is probably uh, uh, no one, uh, no one uh, um, with decent competence with Docker tried it. But I tried, and uh, the thing is, Sampa uh, starts a lot of demons. And uh, having one demon by uh, Docker was way too uh, far from my competence uh, when I tried this. So it's a big fail for the moment. Uh, but it's a way to contribute. Yeah. Anything? Uh, I have. I have some, uh, I have 20, tw uh, still. 13. Hmm? 13 minutes. Okay, good, I have extra slide. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, actually I was about, uh, the, the, I was, Really scared to 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 get out of time, so I removed a lot of slides. Uh, that explains why, actually. Remember, uh, no, this one. Yeah, this boilerplate. I said I said I have no time to explain, but actually I have. So. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay, those kind of codes I want to remove from uh, the code base. You change the deer to the, uh, change the deer to the spool, or you die. You open a file, or you die. You change the deer, or you die. And you're tired. You uh, uh, and if you are tired. You you forget forget to die and you okay. It's boring to write. It's boring to read, and you are human. You can do mistakes. So use auto die, which is very simple. Use auto die and you write this code. Auto die is very simple. When you have a, a, syst an error, a system error, it's it's uh, throw an exception. Okay. So use auto die. Auto die don't forget to die. 
comes, can someone tell me what this prints? Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. There are crazy people in the room. <laughs> okay, just tell me. Okay. No. The solution for this is learn per by the art. Okay. There, is, there are something like 14, uh, 40, 40 variables. It's easy to learn. Or you can just English use explicit English names. So use English, print the ID, which is so much readable. Pseudopsychomatic complexity removal, uh, which is actually uh, Cyclomatic complexity is the, the, the way your code is nesting, okay? You have a loop in a loop in a loop in a loop in a loop, okay? Or a, a loop in a condition and, yeah. And the thing is, uh, you can write this kind of stuff, okay? I found it a lot in Sympa. And I really want to remove this code. Why? Because it's boring to read that and to edit that. Because if you look at this, die is a way to leave the function, OK? Re uh, return is a way to leave the function. So you don't need the block, OK? You can directly write this kind of, of code. It's the same thing, and it's m r more readable. Uh, don't uh, do it, yeah. Another thing I would like, uh, and this is, this is not about new modules, it's just about some codes, uh, uh, some uh, coding style I want to document. If the community is agree, if, uh, so uh, do it. You have a, you, uh, a my user, you, are, uh, you have a fa uh, uh, fake it, uh, which is, uh, uh, some things that come from the, configur uh, the configuration. And if you look at this code, you don't know uh, what it is about. OK? And it's just about setting users. OK? <coughs> and I write, so if, I, if I write a thing like this with a do block, you can have this kind of stuff in Ruby, for example. It's really idiomatic in the Ruby language. You remove the do, and the Ruby <coughs> syntax is, is quite okay. You have do with uh, the fake it, which is uh, uh, loca uh, local to the block, so it will disappear in the rest of your function, so you don't pollute your, your namespace. Uh, and then you say, okay, if fake it, uh, log info, blah, 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 and return zero, okay? Else uh, not return, sorry, and, and affect uh, uh, my user with zero, and else affect my user with UID, okay? And so you write it, it's not a big, it's, it's a, the, the line of code is the same, but you declare what you are uh, doing, you want, I want to set user, and this is explicit, <laughs> without comments. Oops. Yeah, no iron out of slides. What is the UTF-8 for? Oh, yeah. UTF, uh, okay, for. Actually, uh, I was about removing these slides because uh, there is a, uh, I, don't, I don't think, I, I think it's a good idea. I asked from other uh, developers of the project, and they said, uh, he said, actually, uh, that it may be not a good idea. Uh, do you know how to set up Perl uh, per 5 to have a complete uh, UTF-8 environment? No? Me neither, so I use is a module that do it for me, but basically, I have all uh, I uh, uh, 
Okay, I will remove here. But there is uh, use UTF-8, and use UTF-8 say, no, my, my Perl code can have some, uh, some UTF-8 um, uh, symbols into the source code, okay? You have also use open, and I was, so, UTF-8, okay, uh, no, it's this, I think this, this one. Uh, this is uh, telling uh, okay, uh, to Perl that every new file descriptor will be open with UTF-8 uh, UTF uh, um, layer, exactly, Th thank you. But this is this kind of thing. If you, if you, if you uh, uh, see the video from uh, the former, uh, the former uh, pumpkin, uh, Ricardo, Ricardo about UTF-8. Uh, there is a difference between this and those are not equivalent. And this is the one to use actually. And I don't want to know that by the heart, so I just use a module that knows that for me. That's why uh, use UTF. Uh, uh, it all do that. Uh, also, also, if I do just that, uh, the thing is, std out, std air, and std uh, in are still in old encoding. So you have to rewrite, reopen, or use bin mode to uh, to set it to set them in UTF-8, or use std. So no, they re, uh, they bin, uh, pair bin mode all the, the the things, and maybe there are all uh, uh, other programs, and I don't know them, and I don't want to know, because obviously I don't want to spend my time reading the documentation of pair internals. Okay, that's why use um, uh, use the uh, use use all. <sighs> other question. Uh. Thank you. Quoi? Ouais. Pardon que? J'ai pris des photos de toi. Wow. Ah, attends, il faut que je rende les, les, les micros. Thank you. Ciao. Thank you very much for everything you are doing. No worries, man. I'm having enough of my ears. I don't think that. I don't think my recorder's done the right job. Sorry? I don't think my screen recorder's done the right thing. Oh. We'll find out. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh. Uh, what do you need? Sorry, you've got. What's the what output have you got on it? How's it like it works? James and Claudio, nice to meet you. What's your name? Claudio. Oh, yeah, we we yeah, yeah. change mails. Do you have everything you need, uh, cable wise? So. Um, is there a place I can plug in a power switch? Uh, yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a socket over there. Um, should have bought an extension cable with me.
Yeah, it's a slight, slight issue because it's coming out that side. But I do that. Yeah, we got a minute. So I need to put my cue up.